mortals, I am Dark Lord Kaiser. This is a letter. Oh, crap. Change that. Black and yellow aren't my brand colours. Red and white are. That means ninja, in case you were wondering. Because I am one. Shh, don't tell people. So, as I mentioned in the turmoil video, Neo Rambler sent me a thingamajiggy. No returns is mine now. I don't know why I wrote that on there, obviously it's meaningless. So, let's open this bad boy with this bad boy again. I don't know why this is my go-to knife for opening letters now. Okay, let's make sure I don't get my address on the screen because I don't know how to edit that out. This isn't overkill, you're overkill. Shut up. Let's see, that's what I do. I bring the knife out and then I start threatening the audience. Who obviously aren't being threatened because it's it is a real knife, very sharp, very nice knife. But you're not here, so it doesn't really matter. Oh wait, let's see what he's done. Did do me a send? Me the other. While I'm cutting into this, I'm going to remind myself to promote the fact I have a Twitter account. So I always forget to bring it up in the recordings. It's Dark Lord Kaiser, unsurprisingly, but. You know, I, I do tend to put uh, little previews of the videos I'm going to make on that um, on the day it's going up in advance. So if you're particularly into the one-off videos, you can have a look at Twitter, keep an eye on me over there and go, oh, look, he's making a one-off video. Or if you're really into Punch Club, which, judging by the viewing figures, is basically me only <laughs> into that one, you can see that coming up. So let's see. We have a hit. Oh. Is a letter. Oh, so there. Hi, Dark Lord. Here are some booster packs to do with as you please. Keep up the great work. All the best, Neo Rambler, and a smiley face. Ah. Cheers, Neo. Though you didn't need to do this, the fact you promote my channel as much as you have done is enough. That's why I sent you the cards in the first place. Though it is worth mentioning, I sent him two cards to incredibly cheap cards I found on the internet for next to nothing. I think the postage probably costs more than the cards themselves. So, but the postage on this envelope probably costs more than the entire thing I sent him. So this, this, this means generosity war. I hope you know that, Neo. I, I'm going to find you something very, very nice. I'm going to send it to you because I have the feeling it will mildly irritate you in some way you can't fully explain. So, what have we? We have... Blue Eyes White Dragons! These are the ones that are... Oh, and Metal Raiders. So there's two different types there. Let's get that out of the way. So uh, these are the ones that uh, Neo's been opening on his channel um, relatively recently. So we've got two packs of uh, Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon and two packs of Metal Raiders. So we'll do one for one, starting with Blue Eyes, because... Well, that was the top of the pile. So if you do want to watch some unboxing videos. I do recommend watching uh, some of Neo's. He knows the difference between the uh, reprinted versions and the regular ones. It basically boils down to this thing here. He's not all about this. I uh, I just like the pretty cards, to be honest. I'm guessing you're wondering why I've suddenly stopped recording. It's quite simple. I didn't stop recording. I kept going for about 20 minutes opening these uh, packs of cards. Unfortunately, my camera decided it was going to stop recording. I'm not 100% sure why. I think the battery may have been low. Um, so, yes, it just up and stopped doing anything. So now I've got to try and think of a way to, you know, not tease you about what's in these packs and still somehow make this entertaining. So that's going to be an interesting challenge. Cue the music. We've got the Wolf Among Us, Silver Fang. The obligatory 420 Blaze It reference, Firegrass. I bet you didn't know the Karma Sutra was a card, because it isn't, it's a different book of secret arts. What's in there? Who knows, it's a monster egg. Our first of the shiny boys, Stop Defense. The card that every time I see it, I misread as media, Metabat. Before it was a song, it was a giant greedy eating plant, Maneater. The one with a really awkward name to pronounce, Misairu Zame, which I think is coming from the Japanese pronunciation of the word missile. Misairu, missile, 
That might be really some kind of fish. Who knows? And Steel Ogre Grotto number one. I don't have a joke for this one. It's just a big metal rock thing. Yay! Next up, a staple of Pegasus' deck, the Illusionist Faceless Mage. Which always confused me that I never made a tooth version of that. I think they missed a trick there. Armored zombie. Armored everywhere except the head. The one place a zombie would probably actually need armor. Morphineth. Morph. Morin Fen. That's a, another one with a weird name. And a weird face. Dirt face the card. Who knew? Electric Lizard. Fun fact, this is one of the earliest cards I ever owned. Came in a booster pack I got when I was a wee lad. Useful little effects. If a non-zombie type monster attacks Electric Lizard, they can't attack the following turn. Useful for locking your opponents down. Unless they use a zombie deck, in which case, it's useless. Uh, next shiny boy. Cannon Soldier. Very useful little card. Contribute one monster to inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent. Quite useful for decks that can quickly summon lots of things to be used as cannon fodder. To get that last little bit of damage in on your opponent. The Immortal of Thunder. Flip effect. You gain 3,000 life points after this card is flipped. You lose 5,000 life points when it's sent from the field to the graveyard. Very useful if you're running a, car a deck that doesn't have things sent to the graveyard. Useless for everything else. Musician King. I believe this turned up in the anime once as a bit of a filler episode. Not very useful. I don't know why this was the main card of that one guy's deck. Saggy Dada Clown, one of Sato Kaiba's earliest favourite cards, often used in conjunction with the Card Crush Virus, which, as I recently learned, that changed the effect of to some degree. And finally, we've got the Seven Coloured Fish, which, from looking at it, doesn't actually seem to have seven colours. One, two, three. Yeah, that's four colours. It's a four coloured fish you've got there. Oh well, still nice to see the Lugworth community getting some representation. Next up we have Root Water. If you have any idea why it's called Root, let me know, because I haven't got the foggiest. Wasteland. Field card spell that boosts attack, zombie, and rock type monsters. Full 20 blades at his back, fire grasp, be gone with me, I'm bored of you already. Nemuriko. Adorable little mermaid thing that is a spellcaster rather than a fish, for reasons that I'm sure made sense to its artist. It's time for our next shiny boy, it's Fissure, destroying the opponent's monster with the lowest attack. Tripwire Beast, a zappy boy with the face of someone who's just farted and is waiting for you to smell it. Steel Ogre Grotto number one, still haven't thought of a joke. Giving those cold-blooded dinosaurs a little extra power on a cold, cold night, it's raised body heat. And hard armor. If you weren't hard, you wouldn't be very good as armor, would you? And this card looks just as cardboard as all the other ones. Can't be that hard. And that brings us to our final little pack. We've got Dragon Piper. Unless your opponent's running a Dragon Capture Jar deck, is entirely useless. Which means it is entirely useless because I don't know anyone who's ever used that card. Ground Attacker Bugroth. A battle robot that was once used for scene warfare. Well, it is not a ground attacker, is it? What the hell's a Bugroth anyway? Crash Clown. One of a pair, Crash Clown and Dream Clown. Uh, when this card is changed from defense position to attack position, you return one monster on your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand. Dream Clown had a similar effect, but destroyed monsters instead. Mask of Darkness, another shiny boy. Uh, flip effect that returns trap cards from the graveyard to the hand. And our one and only super shiny boy, Seven Tools of the Bandit. A counter trap that counters other traps for only a thousand life points. Guardian of the Labyrinth, a monster that guards the entrance to the netherworld. Well, then he's not guarding the labyrinth, is he? Why would the labyrinth need a guardian? Once you're in the labyrinth, you ain't getting out. That's the point of the labyrinth. Unless you've got string, apparently. Ancient Brain. A fallen fairy that is powerful in the dark. It is so ancient, his brain has gone on the outside of his skull. That's not where brains are supposed to be. The skull's there for a very, very important purpose. And you can't be that smart if your brain's got to the point that its defense mechanisms disappeared, can you? Lava Battle Guard. Watchers of the early anime series remember this was one of the symbols of friendship between Joey and Tristan. But damn near everything was a symbol of friendship in that show. Yugi tying his shoelaces could have been interpreted as a symbol of friendship. It's all about unity. Unite your left and your right strings. And last, and not exactly least, but there anyway, Tremendous Fire. Inflict a thousand points of damage to the opponent, and 500 to yourself, cause why the hell not? 
And there we have it, those are all the cards that were in the packs that was in the package that was sent to me by Neo Rambler. Oh, Jesus wept, that took so long to make. Yeah, it's currently about 40 minutes after I originally intended this video to be live. The, uh, I like to have my videos come up every couple of days at about 6pm Greenwich Mean Time. It, it's past that time now. <laughs> so I'm trying to finish putting the video together. I'm recording this to put in the video to then render the video to then put it online. And then I've got to add the stuff in the end card at the end. Oh god, only that's when this thing's going up. <laughs> On the plus side, I am basically an animator now. Look at the... you see all the clever animations I did? Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Well, hopefully that was at least mildly entertaining in some form or other. If not, well, I probably won't be able to do that again. So you don't have to worry about it. But, um, so, yes, we do need to make sure we... We? I. I need to make sure I send Neo Rambler something in retaliation. Something time consuming. Maybe. I don't know. I'll figure something out and send him something when I can. He'll probably tell me not to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. You can't stop me. So. So, once again, thank you, Neo Rambler, and to the rest of you, bye! <laughs>